Ronnie Castaneda here with your coronavirus news update for April 17th. In national news, protests continue after states have begun to take the necessary steps to gradually open back up just a day after President Trump announced that governors were given the power to lift social distancing restrictions. In a series of tweets, President Trump took the side of protesters in Michigan, Minnesota, and Virginia who had begun to go against social distancing orders despite their governor's orders. The United States currently have over 700,000 cases with over 36,000 deaths and close to 60,000 and recoveries. In local news, Governor Phil Murphy says New Jersey can open on June 1st only if we've, quote, broken the back of the coronavirus. Governor Murphy would be, quote, the happiest guy if he was able to reopen New Jersey on June 1st, but did list multiple steps that must be taken first. On Monday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Delaware, and Massachusetts were forming a regional partnership to work together in looking to reopen their states. Murphy said on ABC News's Powerhouse politics podcast that the regional council was formalizing what was already happening informally the states working together enacting similar mitigation measures to slow the spread of the virus new jersey currently has over 75,000 cases with nearly 4,000 deaths new york on the other hand has 222,000 cases with nearly 15,000 deaths In other news, earlier this week, Los Angeles Rams center Brian Allen became the first reported COVID-19 case of an active NFL player. Just days later, Denver Broncos Pro Bowl linebacker Von Miller would become the second player to test positive. Miller said he is in, quote, good spirits even after taking the necessary precautions to prevent the spread of the virus. The NFL has already made a number of changes to their offseason, including making this year's draft virtual. That'll do it for today's coronavirus update. Make sure you keep up with WSOU News for more daily updates. Reporting. For WSU News, I'm Ronald Castaneda.